डॉक्टर चंद्र मैं आपसे एक सवाल ये पूछना चाहता था देखिए ए आई का ज़माना है आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस का ज़माना है अब आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस से फर्जीवाड़ा भी होता है जैसे डीप फेक्स आ जाते हैं कल को कोई सॉफ्टवेयर से किसी के आवाज़ में भी कुछ भी बुलवा ले या किसी का चेहरा मॉफ कर दे ये तो टेक्नोलॉजी का दुरुपयोग है बट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस हेल्प्स ऑल्सो टेक्नोलॉजी हेल्प्स ऑल्सो सफजरजंग अस्पताल की कुछ रिपोर्ट हमने कुछ महीने पहले चलाई अपने चैनल में कि अब रोबोट ऑपरेशन कर रहा है रोबोट के मदद से ऑपरेशन हो रहा है आप क्या देखते हैं टेक्नोलॉजी का रोल आगे आने में और ख़ास तौर से आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस का रोल सो संगीन हेल्थ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एक नया रेवोल्यूशन है आई मस्ट से एंड वेन एवर देर इज़ अ रेवोल्यूशन दे विल बी मिस यूज ऑल्सो बट इट इज़ अ वेरी गुड रेवोल्यूशन बिकॉज अभी एक स्टडी हुई थी हार्ट के सिलसिले में एक एको कार्डोग्राफी एक जाँच होती है हार्ट की उसमें आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस द्वारा रिपोर्ट को कंपेयर किया गया और जिन लोगों ने किया उसको आपस में कंट्रोल किया गया तो मालूम पड़ा कि आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस की रिपोर्ट ज़्यादा बेटर थी बट इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि हम लोग सब आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस को दे देंगे क्यों क्योंकि मेडिसिन इज़ अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू थिंग्स आर्ट साइंस कंपैशन एम्पथी तो आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस में ये दो पार्ट अभी नहीं एड हो पाए हैं कि हाउ द कंप्यूटर और द रोबोट विल कम बैक एंड होल्ड योर हैंड और पैट ऑन योर बैक तो वो बहुत ज़रूरी है किसी पेशेंट की रिकवरी के प्रोसेस के लिए तो इसलिए डॉक्टर की ज़रूरत तो अभी पड़ेगी आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस उस डॉक्टर को हेल्प करेगी दैट इज़ द बेस्ट पार्ट so the things will become much more predictable and much more reproducible तो गलतियाँ कम होंगी but end में मैं एक बार और कहना चाहता हूँ कि we are not living in a very pessimistic world we in India at this time are are at a very good situation as far as the health is concerned आज से 25 साल पहले या 30 साल पहले जब हमने MBBS बी बी एस किया था अपना तब हार्ट डिजीज के लिए और कितनी बीमारियों के लिए लोग बाहर जाते थे आउट ऑफ इंडिया ट्रीटमेंट कराने के लिए और हम लोग ट्रेनिंग करने के लिए बाहर जाते थे आई गॉट ट्रीटेड ट्रेन इन फ्रांस फॉर दिस थिंग बट टुडे इन इंडिया वी कैन प्रोवाइड द बेस्ट क्वालिटी ऑफ केयर विद द बेस्ट मेडिसिन मेड इन इंडिया एंड द बेस्ट यू नो हार्डवेयर जैसे स्टेंट्स हैं वेल्व हैं सब इंडिया में बन रहे हैं दे आर वेरी गुड क्वालिटी एट अ वेरी लो प्राइस सो वी आर Now in India, at least as health is concerned, we are in a very positive situation. और हमारे पास पूरी दुनिया से patients आते हैं treatment कराने के लिए at one third or one fourth the price. So this is what I wanted to end with that we are not in a very bad situation. We are in a good situation, and doctors are coming to get trained by us. in india since we're talking about doctors uh, dr kanan how do we attract the right skill to the right place how do we create an ecosystem that supports healthcare professionals who work in re- rural india how do we ensure that doctors are there especially in the remote and rural areas so um, this requires a multi sectoral approach truly a multi sectoral approach the answer is not to part of it may also be to say you train as a general surgeon you do an mch in whatever you serve in a rural area but that compulsion is not going to be sustainable what is done democratically will be sustainable with the will of the people and that requires one is as part of training to talk to uh, doctors you know that component humanities in healthcare education is uh-huh. is not greatly emphasized but we have to introduce humanities yes. to talk to doctors starting from their mbbs times mm-hmm. from the first the, the beginning kindergarten stage of M, uh, doctors to get them into that service mode mm-hmm. that, that that is very important and that that will go a long way the other thing is to incentivize doctors when they work in difficult areas and the mm-hmm. third thing is to use technology to support doctors see i work in an area where we don't have intensivists yeah. that means somebody who's critically ill will have nobody to look after that person yeah. and so we work with a group of intensivists working in bangalore on the cloud we have what is called a cloud icu and that works so remarkably well yeah. and so it supports all of us i'm more confident of treating sick people because we don't have access to good pathology services and so we working with what we call is the national cancer grid mm. to create telepathology and technologies are available we can make the slides and somebody sitting 
2,000 kilometers away can report the pathology slides. And yes, so it, it is important to support doctors. If you train a young doctor and post him into a remote area, he's not, not equipped to deal with complex situations. Mm -hmm. And that is a disincentive that will dis demotivate him. Mm -hmm. And so we have to use a combination of psychology and incentivization and technological support and have senior people support. Multiple things have to happen, have to happen. but it can happen. Okay. Great. Okay. डॉक्टर इंद्रा एक सवाल मैं आपसे पूछना चाहता हूं हमारी ये जो मुहिम है इसका हिस्सा आप भी रही हैं सुझाव के माध्यम से भी जज्बात के माध्यम से भी हर तरीके से लेकिन नौ साल पूरे हुए हैं और दसवें में हम प्रवेश कर रहे हैं तो आपको क्या लगता है कि वो कौन से मुख्य मुद्दे हैं जिन पर हमको आगे ध्यान देने की आवश्यकता है सो आई थिंक नाउ कमिंग इन टू देंथ सीजन इन देर एक्चुअली लॉट ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशन and a lot of hopes a lot of aspirations uh, that are linked to it definitely um, and now i think now formation of a council is something very important because as i mentioned intersectoral coordination is extremely important because there have been certain public health related diseases which i mentioned like uh, diarrheal diseases anemia undernutrition uh, it has not been controlled in spite of so many years and i think this is where a council like this will be of great help we've been talking of gut health and we all know that gut health is intricately related to environment intricately because you have uh, environment uh, uh, eed which is the you see people children can eat a lot of nutritional food but they'll not be absorbed if there is diarrhea they all all go it's like a leaky, leaky pot it will go out therefore to control malnutrition unless you link environment to it you can't control diarrhea you can't control undernutrition you can't control anemia which is so linked to the worm infestation open sanitation so i think it's very important that a linkage is created among this different uh, department and ministries and i think the next season should be that uh, this uh, uh, this wonderful group of three the three pillars should get together to see how independently the government can be advised uh, to take this forward right dr sir sorry i I'm, uh, i know that uh, you've been a little impatient <laughs> now, now but this, this just uh, one last request how do you see the future of medicine in india it is very much advanced it's going up it's not, we are not go going back as somebody mm -hmm. was said not developed country it is developed country not developing now developed so we are progressing very very well so only thing is we are known as the pharmacy bank of the world india <laughs> am i right <laughs> yes, yes. yeah yes. so uh, yeah, now my uh, what do you call a uh, aphorism yeah message i don't want to tell the word prevention of diabetes that is uh, what confuses people must the primordial prevention of diabetes yeah that is the message you must spread everywhere in the dandy tv you put that <laughs> primordial prevention of diabetes focus on the fetus for the future yeah that's all thank you so much that means diabetes will disappear from the country primordial prevention of diabetes focus f f focus on the fetus of future for the future focus on the fetus for the future that is slogan i want to i am uh, telling everywhere this is my slogan anywhere i talk i tell this slogan only <laughs> wonderful wonderful thank you wonderful. so much thank you so much no we were just talking about the uh, artificial intelligence and how it can be utilized in our country hmm. so i think one of the areas where it can be very useful is to reach the unreachable in the remote areas where we do not have doctors we have nurses or we have the anms they can be given the you know the algorithms we have like algorithms you put in the symptoms mm -hmm. and you get the disease pattern you get the management guidelines mm -hmm. not only that they can do the telecommunication with a doctor who's sitting in the district mm -hmm. and uh, they can do the triaging triaging is one of the most important thing for dealing with the emergency medicine like obstetrics pediatric mm -hmm. or even adult so she can try it that this patient need to go to the next speciality or go to the higher uh, care center because there is a need but i think uh, human intelligence is still yeah. much better than artificial intelligence we yeah. require human oh, yes, intelligence definitely. to control artificial yeah. intelligence mm -hmm. because artificial intelligence is good for algorithms for doing certain stuff but not for medicine itself so i think in medicine yeah, artificial intelligence yeah. have a role but as long as human intelligence is yeah, there is i don't think uh, artificial intelligence take over human intelligence yeah. 
chat gpt for example the inventor of chat gpt yeah. was so disappointed recently that he sort of yeah. got away from it so i think it's very important that we still basically use the human intelligence to use the artificial intelligence for our benefit otherwise you get overwhelmed with artificial